Today we're getting a wine tour at Chile's largest winery, Concha y, Concha y Toro. Concha y Toro. I'm not a wine guy. Concha y Toro. Concha tu madre. Concha y Toro. <laughs> I'm not a wine guy. Leap knows a tad. Carolyn loves wine but doesn't know much. I know a lot about wine. I, I know just it don't tastes enjoy. good. So this should be an interesting day. <laughs> back there is about 4,000 square meters and the original family that owned this property owned about 54 acres of land which is where this whole park right in the valley of the Andes and there's a lot of imported trees and invasive Argentinian birds <laughs> This vineyard is responsible for over 300 million liters of wine produced every single year. And we just found out it's the second largest in terms of the amount of hectares vineyard in the entire world. Uh, home to about 26 varieties of grape, none of which I know anything about. Uh, there's a bunch of different wines. Again, I don't know anything about them, but we're gonna try some. Hopefully I like them. <laughs> Oftentimes these earthquakes destroy thousands and thousands of liters of wine and products. So that's why they have only two barrels stacked up at a time. In case they fall down, it's a lot less likely that they're going to lose a lot of products. That's about as much as I know about any sort of wine ever. <laughs> Leave, how'd you find? Um, you know, it was one of the better wine tours I've done. I okay. honestly say I semi enjoyed two of the wines. Two of the last wines. One, last one was Maciello Seco. Mm. Um, Jamie learned he has to swirl wine around in his mouth and can't just funnel it down his throat. Yeah, I thought it was just a quick send, but nope. Nope. Gotta be a full send. Gotta be a full send. Always. I like the white wine the best. <laughs> oh, the white wine is definitely better. The Sauvignon Blanc, but. You know, I, it, it kind of just tasted like every other wine I've had in my life. But mind you, mind you, I will say that probably the nicest part of coming here is not the wine tasting, it's not even the tour, it's just where it is, right in the valley between the Andes, and the vineyard is just simply stunning. That alone was worth coming out and checking out. Too bad their service is garbage. <laughs> yeah, they didn't bring us our mango juice. Oh, okay. But anyways, I would have liked to fly the drone, but it's not allowed. Carol, what's your, what's your assessment? Uh, it was fantastic. It's fantastic. Carol and likes, of, likes her wine. One of the best wine tours I've ever done. Okay. Well, there you go. You should come here. It's cool. <laughs> you should come here. <laughs> Click this link. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, just do it. <laughs>